guys, Kayana Kieva here. Today we're going to be unboxing the Tales of Arise Premium Edition, the Japanese version. I actually managed to get my hands on the Famitsu uh, DX package, I believe it was called, um, for the PS4. <laughs> so excited. Um, I didn't manage to get a pre-order in for the uh, North American Collector's Edition, unfortunately, and the UK one is like totally out of reach. So <laughs> I settled for the next best thing, which was the Japanese version. I have been playing this game on PC, on Steam, and it is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, if you are new to the series or are a longtime fan like myself who's been playing since Fantasia era, this game will not disappoint. <laughs> anyway, um, so these parts were part of the Famitsu DX part of the package edition. Um, this itself is just the premium. There's also an extra item on the side that I have at the moment, who, which is also part of the Famitsu DX pack. So I think what we'll do is we will start with the extra bits. So the Famitsu part of it. So I'm just gonna put this away for a little bit. Okay, so we will start with this thing over here. <laughs> I am not 100% sure what was all included with the Famitsu package. I wanted it to be a surprise. And yes, these are uh, Rinwell styled gloves with uh, the little locks on them. I actually cosplayed Rinwell for the release of Tales of Arise and it was so fun. Anyway, <laughs> so we've just got a little black box here. It's quite hefty actually. So let's see. Oh, wow. It is a glass. Here's a little care instructions if you, you care for that. <laughs> oh, wow, this is so pretty. It's very hefty. <laughs> it's got the Tail of Arise logo on the front. I'm not sure if you can fully see it. And Tail of Arise on the back. Oh, that is so cool. Very, very nice glass. <laughs> Next, we have one of the best parts, in my opinion, <laughs> the Hoodle uh, plushy uh, keychain thing, I believe it is. Ooh. Also care instructions. <laughs> Always the care instructions. Oh, wow, it's so, it's so soft. Oh my gosh. That's so cute! <laughs> hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. <laughs> I believe Hoodle is Hururu in Japanese. Oh, so cute! <laughs> that was actually a lot bigger than I expected for the Hoodle plush. And that's so cute! Look at it! <laughs> oh, that's so fun! Okay, next part we have are these. They're quite heavy. I believe these are supposed to be like magnets of some sort. Oh yeah, okay. So these are really, really nice quality magnets. There's Alfin. Our resident Sundere uh, Shion. <laughs> Next we have Brinwell. Here is Law. One of the best girls, Kisara. <laughs> or Kisara, I believe they say in English. I've been playing through it in English. I'm planning to do like a Japanese playthrough very soon. <laughs> and our resident cool guy, Dohalim. These are actually quite sizable and 
I kind of like that. I don't know if I'll put them on my fridge, <laughs> even though they're magnetic, but uh, we'll definitely see. Next up are, I believe these are badges. Let's take a look. I love how carefully packaged these guys are. Oh, law, why are you stuck to Kisara? Let, let go, please. Okay, yes, so these are little badges. So we've got Alfin. Guessing back here. Nope, that's for Well, Nope. <laughs> then we have Shion. Let's go with Rinwell. And a little hoodle. <laughs> then we've got Law. Kisara. And finally, Dohalim. Usually I find with uh, these badges, which I believe they call can badges in Japan, they're usually quite light, but this actually has quite some heft to it, so I feel like this is quite a quality badge that they've included in the Famitsu bundle. <laughs> finally, the last part that was in the Famitsu bundle was this, which is actually super duper cool. I don't know if you can totally see it in the shot, but it's actually got like a 3D effect to it. It might be hard to see on camera. Um, I believe they called this the lenticular card, which is very similar to like, if you've watched my Mamamoo unboxings, um, Reality in Black had lenticular cards, except this one isn't so much that it's like uh, a 3D hologram uh, where it changes. This one actually, it almost looks like Xion and Alfin are like popping out from the sheet, which is amazing. It's actually really nice quality plastic, so you don't have to worry about it ripping um, if it was on paper, but this is really, really cool. This is a surprise to me. I didn't realize this was in it until I like received it. So holy cow. <laughs> this is definitely going on the wall. I feel like it'd be really cool if you put in like an entryway, walked in, and then all you see is like a moving Xion and Alfin. That it's so cool. <laughs> okay, so that was it for the uh, Famitsu pack. Next, we're gonna go to the premium edition of the Tales of Arise. I already um, took off the plastic wrap that was on it because uh, I didn't want you guys to just hear plastic wrap for basically 20 minutes. <laughs> so this is a little slip cover thinger. Well, okay, not really. I guess it doesn't cover fully like on the top. It's more of just a little uh, paper cover. There's Tales of Arise to save the premium edition. The back, which has the contents that we're about to get into. Um, for early pre-orders, um, I believe for the PS4 version, you get an upgrade to the PS5 version, as well as um, some special little extras. I call them the Sephiroth wings. <laughs> and then underneath, so this comes off. Ah. We have this really, actually quite amazing... Um, premium box. Uh, this is the first time that I've gotten a Japanese version of the premium editions for uh, the Tales series, so this was actually a very welcome surprise for me. It's super, super sleek, super nice. Nothing on the back. <laughs> oh, there's actually English on this. That's so cool. So it says, on the planet Donna, reverence has always been given to Rena the planet in the sky, as a land of the righteous and divine. Stories handed down for generations became truth and masked reality for the people of Dana. For 300 years, Rena has ruled over Dana, pillaging the planet of its resources and stripping people of their dignity and freedom. Our tale begins with two people born on different worlds, each looking to change their fate and create a new future. F future, not feature. <laughs> I'm used to 
sometimes the Japanese version is not having the best English, so I am very happy that they actually probably consulted someone to make sure that this part made sense. Anyway, let's get to the bulk of this. I'm super excited. Let me just pop those two parts out. Okay, so I believe this is like a box. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the game itself, the PS4 version. I've been hearing that the North American version, if you ordered PS, like the PS4 collector's edition, sometimes you would get the PS5 version or something and vice versa. I wonder how they're dealing with that at the moment. But yes, for me, it was more of, I already pre-ordered it on PC since I couldn't get the um, North American Collector's Edition. So for me, this will probably remain sealed. <laughs> I do have a PS4, I don't have a PS5, but I guess, thankfully, if I wanted to upgrade some other time, I would be able to do so for free, hopefully. Hopefully that stays forever. <laughs> We also have the original soundtrack. Oh, the track list is also in English. Amazing. The music this time is by Motoi Sakuraba again. So it's been an amazing ride as usual. <laughs> uh, his music never ceases to amaze me. I've also played some other games that he has composed for like Star Ocean series. So good. <laughs> And on the inside, oh wow, that's a very pretty CD. Super, super pretty. Oh, and there's more, there's both Japanese and English. Oh, it's a note from Sakuroba. For the first time in the Tale series, I was able to use a lot of live sounds, such as live strings, full orchestra, mixed chorus, and band for the soundtrack. Oh, that makes sense why the music seemed so much crisper than I'm used to. Oh, that's so cool. In the past, I recorded piano, organ, accent, drums, and other instruments that I know how to play, but this time I was able to record the composition I've always wanted to. Although some of the music was created with digital instruments, I think the taste is a little different, and the song's longer from previous tales of music I've worked on. I agree. <laughs> It's been a while since Tales of Brazaria, indeed it has been, so I composed this song with a fresh feeling and a good musical direction as a reboot. I hope you enjoy it. And I did enjoy it indeed so far, <laughs> and am enjoying it. Oh, that's so cool. I'll put that back in later. Actually, I'll bring these out for the display at the end. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything in here? No, that's just filler. Oh! Oh, there's another layer! Oh, okay, wow! That is amazing. Okay, so we have some enamel pins here. If I could just... Hello? Hello, open this? Okay. <laughs> Having quite a hard time. So we have the badges, or not badges, <laughs> enamel pins here. This is the Tales of Arise logo. Ooh, as well as the uh, Tales logo in general for their 25th anniversary. Oh, that's so cool. They're quite weighty as well. I'm very happy with that actually, <laughs> that they have gone with like more quality um, in their merchandise. Next up we have uh, this. Oh, it's an acrylic standee. This seems to be all the rage recently with uh, merchandise and things for uh, mini games and anime, etc. Let me just open that up for you guys. Oh, that's unexpected placement. <laughs> I was expecting it to be down here so I could just fold it out that way. So color me surprised. Okay, so usually these kinds of things have like the protective uh, plastic cover on top and I'm guessing these guys don't have it this time and that is actually totally a-okay with me because those are very troublesome to pull out or pull off of these things. Oh, that is really cool. 
I'm a little bummed that I don't have access to the figurine, but I might actually like this, uh, this acrylic standee instead. It's very nice. Let's see, what else do we have in here? So I think these, oh, these are postcards. Okay, so the first one we have in here. Oh, is one of the first shots that they ever showed us of the game when it was still in production. <laughs> Next we have, oh, hopefully this is like the, oops, the cover art. Not quite. <laughs> Similar. Oh, wait, the, whoa. We've got a standy version of it now. <laughs> That's very pretty. It's just a blank on the back. Ooh. We have Alfin and Shion. Law and Rinwell. As well as Dohalim and Kisara. Again, the paper grade on these, very, very nice. It's a lot thicker than usual postcards are. Not quite as thick as like the postcards you would send off to somebody um, in the letter mail, in the old yore of uh, <laughs> snail mail, but these are very nice nevertheless. Next, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, oh, ah, okay. So I think these are stickers. Oh, sorry for the noise. <laughs> Oh, wow! <laughs> Got the whole cast and a really gigantic hoodle. <laughs> oh, there's another set! Oh, This is like harkening back to the old days of like 8-bit and stuff. Oh, that's so cool! I really love this uh, old and, uh, older style of like art and things. Kind of miss it. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I believe there's one more thing. Uh-huh. Okay, this is and must be the art book. If I can shimmy this out of this box. Okay. Now, I have a feeling that this art book is going to have spoilers, so uh, huge spoiler warning for Tales of Arise, just in case. <laughs> if you haven't played the game yet, if you plan to play it but don't want to be spoiled, I would suggest you look away right now. <laughs> oh wow, it's a nice hardcover. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. This is the maiden symbol. You'll you'll understand if you play the game. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Ah yes, the fresh smell of newly printed books. <laughs> I actually like this red accent in the book. I wonder whether it's to um, mimic Xion's dress, where it's like white on the outside and then red on the inner. Oh, the ink smell is very strong. <laughs> oh, but it's all in color. Okay, I am very, very excited. So we have the different sections. Ooh. Alfin and Xion. Oh, this is just like a synopsis about like 300 years ago, which is like the conflict between the worlds, etc., and how we got where we are. Oh, sweet, there's nice concept art. <laughs> this will be useful for cosplaying. Oh, I believe that is the sink lever. Oh, it's 21, okay. Xion. Like, this is what I meant by, like, the red, um, underside on her dress for maybe the reason why the book is red on the inside. Super pretty. Oh, that's 
that's what Renwell's shirt looks like on the inside. Oh, and her book! <laughs> if anyone wants to see her book for, like, cosplay stuff later, this would have been real useful when I, uh, when I sewed Renwell. <laughs> but that is very, very cool. Those are actually really cute pants. <laughs> okay, do they have a page for Hoodle? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> There's law. Oh my god. Okay. That. That right there. That face. <laughs> law should have just had that face throughout. Wait, wait, wait. Law's only 16? Oh, and Will's 14. Oh, wow. Okay. That is actually really cool. Oh, wow. I just realized that actually had detailing on the underside of his, um, his coat. That is amazing. Oh, there's Kisara. Dohalim. Oh, I think Dohalim is the oldest of the group. He is indeed at 28. Still young. Not not nearly as old as I think Jade is the oldest in terms of playables from Abyss. <laughs> Oh, this is absolutely amazing. I do wonder whether the art books um, differ from the different versions. I'm hoping not, because I don't think I will ever own the North American or UK version of the art books, if that is the case. Yeah, these are huge spoilers. If you're jumping in part way, please look away unless you want to be spoiled for the different realms and things for the game. Oh, the owl forest. Owl forest is really great. <laughs> oh, and her thorns. Ah, Volran. <laughs> I won't say much. I'll just let you guys enjoy this art book if you're just uh, glancing through. <laughs> oh, that's really cool for the little um, animation bits from uh, UFO Table, UFO Table. How do you even say the name of that animation studio? <laughs> art book but that was freaking amazing I am so happy to have this <laughs> so uh yeah that was that was an unboxing I don't know how I'm gonna fit this all in the frame but I will try <laughs> so we'll just uh, go in a little bit okay so we have the really cool premium box with the art book, which, okay, maybe maybe it'll look better. Look, there we go. <laughs> we have the various sticker sheets. Then we have the postcards. The really cool standee. The enamel pins. We have the badges. Oh, Alfin, go back over. <laughs> then we have the... Oh, they're sticking to each other! Because they're magnetic. <laughs> the magnets. This really, really amazing glass. We're... we're okay. Please, please don't slip off the table. Please and thank you. Stay. <laughs> Then we've got this amazing hoodle. Sit. <laughs> this really cool lenticular sheet, which I, hmm, I, hmm, I, I will place, I will place over here for the time being. 
And then the little slip cover that goes on the premium edition, which will just, you know, you guys saw it, but I'll stick it over here. <laughs> so anyway, that was the unboxing of the premium edition of Tales of Arise, the Japanese version, uh, which included the Famitsu DX uh, pack. Yeah. If you haven't played Tales of Arise, go play it. Like, seriously, it is probably one of the games that I would definitely put in my top five um, from the series overall. Like, it was worth the wait. It was definitely, definitely worth the wait. And there's also post-game stuff as usual, so there's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little... not really little. I hope you enjoyed this big unboxing. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment below on whether you're planning to play Tales of Arise, whether you've played Tales of Arise, etc. I'm not sponsored. I just really love the Tales series and I just want to share it with all of you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, it's been a wild minute of unboxing. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Oh, this Hoodle plush though. Woohoo!